You know, when you first experience all this, it really is um, sort of numbing. You're overwhelmed, you're still in a little bit of shock. It's not my first hurricane, but it's my first total loss. You can see how high the water went. You know, the refrigerator was over here. That's my generator. Totally underwater. You know, this was over here. Everything just floated all, you know, of course, it floated all around. And I can't even walk through the house because everything is there. And you know, it all floats up and then, you know, everything is everywhere. I mean, they're, you know, 17 and 19, the two boys that live here, but it's too awful right now. I'm trying to be brave. Water came up to about here, and when it got to there, the way they were saying on the news, I thought it was going to eventually go over our heads. I called my daughters and said goodbye. Uh, now, from now on, when they say water surge and all that, it's not that it's going to be close to the to the beach. It can be miles away. It's not the money loss, it's the hard work that we put in to, to, to build a marina. It was like a Key West style type thing. There was a big tiki bar there. We had a, a bar boat going in. So that's what's disappointing, is to lose all of our hard work for two years. This whole community is devastated and um, we're just going to move on and start a new chapter. That's all we can do.